So this is the 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 most crazy humble brag story of the year. Um, so this is on yourtango.com. And you know, there's been girls coming out and saying it's hard to be fat. It's hard to be a girl that can't stop eating. Mm-hmm. Just stuffing my face from my trough. <laughs> It's hard to be the type of girl that has to eat out of a trough every morning. Or it's hard to be demisexual. It's hard to be bisexual. bisexual. Well, this one is tops it all because we have the story of the year. Yourtango.com has decided that people judge me because I'm really pretty. Mm -hmm. So she wants to... (laughs) Yeah, guess what? They judge you more if you're really ugly. You know, it's gone full circle now where the pretty people are so sick of... They go, demisexual didn't work. All the things didn't work. She wasn't getting her stuff and she just goes... You know what? I think these people are pretty shaming me. Yeah. Well, it's it. I mean, you I know will this say, article is pretty stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. <laughs> it is the hardest time ever in like my lifetime to be an attractive person. They they you get the least. It's better, points. worse than it was. Yeah, but it's still like it's not. It's still great. Yeah, it's still. But fine. it's not as good as it used to be. No, because there. So I actually do agree with what you're saying that there is like a element that of this that kind of has the like it's hard to be a white guy yeah, sort of tinge it is, to it for sure it is <laughs> you know it's just I mean? like she goes she's like yo like i'm as hot as i was five years right. ago but i do notice it's not quite as easy and you're right she can't have a gripe about like those sort of things that like people don't like white girls right now mm. so what she says is she started blaming you know she thinks she's still I, I guess the reason why i find this stuff funny is it's it's always still sort of trying to like grasp this into the like intersectional like can we throw one more thing into the intersectionality yeah she knows she's not going to ask them to throw whiteness in there no, she know you no, know what no, I mean? no. white girl isn't even doing that much but she's like can can i, mean, I get a pretty a pretty a, i mean the only person can i get a can i get a can i get a <laughs> please, piece uh, man. please sir may I have a bit of intersectionality <laughs> i mean this is a tough tough slice of intersectionality <laughs> the only place you can get a fucking Publishes your tango.com. Whatever the fuck that so is. she's at the store and they said, Maybe you should just leave the handyman work to your husband. The hardware store employee told me when I asked him what aisle the adhesives were in, I stood speechless and fuming. He didn't say that. <laughs> the worst part about these fucking fake articles on these fake sites is they're like, They didn't say this. But standing speechless is funny too, where the guy's like, uh, Yeah, where the person's like, Oh, that's something, something, something. And you stand there in the hardware store. So they're both silent and the guy's just like, all right, so you need any help with anything else? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, she, it, that's how it played out in her head. He's just standing there. Yeah. And then she's like, she didn't get what well, she... Well, she was fuming in her story. The steam's coming out of her ears and her eyes. Goes, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, just it's over there. Anyways, yeah. And you are right to say that that didn't happen because the hardware guy in today's climate, 2021 probably is when this happened, didn't say, hey, tuts. Yeah, like... I mean, the, the the one which is the most egregious. Unless you're totally hitting on her, being like, you need a man to do that for you. Like, he was trying to come at her with some of, like, masculine yeah, fucking Yeah, because, you know, that guy's fucking batting a thousand on smoke shows coming into the hardware store <laughs> and him getting their number. <laughs> the guy who works at the hardware store. She probably does have a point, though. There is some of this stuff where it's like, it's going to be, there is something that'd be said about, like, you're right, if a smoke show came in and asked you where the socket wrenches are, you're like, what are you doing right now? Whereas, like, if a fat fucking, like, like you know, uh, rugby player came in, you would be, you, you know? Yeah. But the truth is, like it's a- kind of the same thing as you never see a super hot, like, uh you know, a uh, girl working, you know, as a homeless person, <laughs> working as a homeless person. <laughs> the same reason, but it is for guys. Like, you never really see, like, a supermodel dude working at McDonald's because you're like... Well, why would you? You'd go work at a bar and make way more money. Like, exactly. you know what I mean? Exactly. So there is something to be said about, like, if you're a smoking hot girl, I was like, what are you doing that you got to go plumb your toilet now? <laughs> she's doing like a photo shoot for her OnlyFans and she's like, I'm playing a plumber today and I need this stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like best case scenario. If you're a 10 out of 10 girl and you're plunging your toilet, ask what you did wrong. <laughs> <laughs> And by the way, this comes well, maybe from a guy who don't want to fucking plunge no toilet. Yeah, maybe. Well, maybe she's just trying to be like, I'm trying to break the mold. And yeah, you know. or maybe whatever. There's, well, know. you know what? The, there's a lot of girls that are like really hot that have like a trashy tinge that it doesn't. Yeah. That, you know what I mean? Then they kind of don't know. Like they, they haven't. Yeah, they're, they're like, like there's a lot of girls that are like a long. solid eight point five. That you know, fucking just live in some trash place. They got some trash accent, and they'll ju- they just date some fucking drug dealer. For and, sure. And you know they, what I mean? Yeah, and they get locked down really quick because because the guys know that that the guys like, sort of know that they know there's some sort of market inefficiency here. So they're <laughs> they're like aware, and they go, "We gotta fucking lock this down." <laughs> market inefficiency. 
<laughs> so she stood there speechless and fuming at the, what, the gender discrimination that was coming towards her. Um, and another woman walked up onto us. So she said, uh, she asked the store employee where she could find a ratchet set and she braced herself for another sexist comment. The same employee answered, answered they're in aisle 12. So Piece she was, shit. <laughs> no, she was bracing herself. She goes after the first thing that happened. She stood there, braced herself after she stood there fuming, and she goes, where are the ratchets? The guy goes, aisle 12. She goes, hey, no. All right. Don't okay. you mean aisle 12, you fucking whore? Is that, Is what, that what you, you meant to that's say? That's what you wanted to say. And she said, he turned back to me and told me, oh, but then he fucking, he came with the comment after. <laughs> he, he did, first he said aisle 12, but then he, that's not all he said, my friend. He turned back and he said, Pretty girls should leave the technical work to people who know how to handle it. Not men, but people. Um, did he just insinuate that I'm stupid? So she's saying, no, it wasn't just sexism. It was hotism because uh, she would have just said you should leave it to men. But she said, leave it to people. Maybe he was trying to be like a little more progressive. Yeah, he was trying to be more progressive. But again, I'm going to put that under the didn't happen category. Did not happen. <laughs> This is, this is how I know none of this happened because she said this, okay? She said, I'm tired of men assuming I must be easy. No, I didn't wake up and put on this face just so I could find someone to have sex with. Guys don't assume the hottest girls are the easiest. That was they my assume favorite thing. They're the hardest. That was like, my favorite thing. Just the fact thing, that you yeah. wrote that, you go, wait, you think because you're like a 10 out of 10, guys think you're easy? These are some of the problems she has with being hot. And she goes, because I'm hot. Every guy assumes I'm easy, and you go, no that guy. is not a stereotype. <laughs> it's like literally an Asian being like, everyone assumes I'm just this amazing driver just because of <laughs> my fucking race. Everybody Dude. assumes, just because I'm Italian, I Dude. hate pizza. <laughs> Gabagoo! Gabagoo! You know, Dude, that- saying that uh, you're not supposed to have pride as like a white person, but you can have pride as the individual types. Like Italians probably have more pride than any race. Every morning they take a DNA test and just go, fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Still Italian. <laughs> Italians love being Italian so much. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they do love it. Maybe you should leave the handiwork to your husband. <laughs> but yeah, that was my favorite part is she keeps going on about all these things that people assume about. And one of the big things that they assume is that she's easy. And the, the, not even that, but she assumes that all people, that are all hot. men, all men think that hot the girls hotter are easy. you are, the easier <laughs> you are, which definitely lines up with like evolutionary biology where, yeah, it's definitely how it works is the hotter women are the least desirable and therefore the easiest. And I'd also say to this girl who says it's so everyone assumes she's easy. My question might be, are you? She's like. You know, I I had sex with everyone in my fucking college, and all the guys thought I was easy because I'm hot. <laughs> I'm tired of being judged because of my attractive face. <laughs> this, you know what the thing is? Some of the people, it's like you, uh, you, like I said, if you are this supermodel person, you might think a certain way, and everyone knows how the world interprets them, and then. Uh, acts a certain way. It's like, you know, you're going to be more uh, self-depreciative if you look a certain way or you're going to, you know, to get what you want in the world. But my problem is everyone also has the wherewithal to shut, not keep it to themselves. Yes. Like, also, everybody It's like the equivalent gets- of a no guy is going to be like, everyone just assumes because I'm a billionaire. I, it's so hard to be a billionaire. It's like, there may be some morsel of truth in there, but uh, yeah, everyone knows to keep that to yourself. <laughs> yeah. Also, everybody judges and is judged. That's just human nature if you you think like that's oh, correct she's like oh all these ugly chicks must have it so easy never yeah, getting yeah. judged <laughs> never getting judged well yeah it's kind of one of those things where yeah, i went out for the role of like ugly girl number two and i didn't get it because i'm a smoke show it's fucking <laughs> bullshit it's discrimination this can you imagine having to deal with your chick like oh, have God. coming in the door and being like what was today like <laughs> do you even want to know well i was fucking discriminated against because i'm hot again <laughs> I wonder. I saw this girl. At least photo. she looked okay. Is, I don't think. I bet you this girl's like not as hot as she's giving it up to. I'm is there tired a photo of, on the thing? She's tired of being whittled down to nothing more than my looks because people naively think I have nothing more to offer. By the way, that's a stock photo. She doesn't even put a photo of herself. Yeah, she's it's too hot for TV. Insane. It is one of those things where if you're a ten out of ten girl, and you're really, really that hot, and you end up at the end of life like you know, pretty poor, you fucked up. (laughs) There's no reason. Yeah. After all, I'm tired of people believing that just because I'm pretty, 
I don't have the right to get upset when I'm treated as nothing more than that. Well, you have the right to get um, upset. Can I, just, can I just give you a title of one of her other things? I've loved the other one of her other um, things. Dear moms who hate me because I'm a MILF. You're so insecure. <laughs> <laughs> Again, they're all stock photos. So this is her whole thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, not, uh, not all of them. Uh, she was, uh, She's actually written a multiple lot of, articles um, about how hot she is. There's a, but a lot of them about being in an abusive relationship. Um, here's five crucial things I learned from probably got beat because she's hot. Uh, stop yeah. being so hot. I dressed provocatively for a week to see how men would react to me, which is <laughs> fucking insane <laughs> considering she has the other being like, I'm smoking hot, I'm smoking hot, and I'm not easy. Alone. And they're not like, this isn't even a follow up to that. Is it possible that the easy thing was the that she wrote the easy thing the week after that she was, <laughs> I'm wearing lingerie to the football game, <laughs> to the hardware store? I wore lingerie to the hardware store and i cannot believe how i was treated she was doing all of her experiments at once <laughs> <laughs> she's going yeah the next one's on multitasking <laughs> she's, she's at the hardware store with like nipple tassels <laughs> that's because i'm oh, she, her her articles are all kinds of crazy i'm tired of co-workers not taking me seriously and treating me more than i that i'm nothing more than just cheekbones and blue eyes news flash <laughs> she has a news flash for you danny you ready for the news flash i didn't get this job because i attached a photo of my resume so i'd very that's when it's uh te teetering on the white man aren't you not to be a piece of shit but i'm just looking at photos of her she's not that hot there you she's go she's really not that hot actually she's like there is no uh She's getting. I'm, I'm not putting her on blast just because I don't want to be just that's un. She ain't fucking the smoke show. She's telling you. I just. I'm just gonna show you this just so you. Uh, not to be a piece of shit, but stop it. <laughs> no, it's not. I swear to God, that's she's a, like a pretty normal. <laughs> she's like a seven. That's crazy. Generous? Generous, isn't that nuts? And then if you go on her, that's like JJ writing an article because just because I'm a fucking ten out of ten buff stud, it's crazy. It's literally like again, but you back to back too. This is who you expect to be writing this, I guess. No, I thought the girl would have been smoking. Yeah, and then the, on her blog spot, but then it it takes oh, that's fuck. some fucking good shit right there. It, it kicks <laughs> it kicks me out of her website, but ah, uh, they can tell that it's hot people only website. But no, 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 it, it, it re sends it because my husband said he was going to the store and never came back. It's been. Like that's like her, her lead in on her. Oh, he gave blog. her the classic pack of smokes line. And then of course, one of her tabs on her website is need help. Cause she offers, help. she She's offers help, help, She's help for her, right? Cause that's, here's what I, I think. Cause we had that other woman, remember with the Thanksgiving who she was hot and she goes like, I ate the thing and everybody called me a fat pig. And she actually, they need a backstory. Yeah. Well, no, they're all fucking self help charlatans and they need 50 articles online. So just for SEO or whatever. And so it's like all this nonsense. No, but they actually believe all this stuff. I, agree, I know these yeah. people. They believe every word they're saying. Like in her mind, this did happen. Mm -hmm. So she went to the thing and she, I get you if you got this person, she believes every word of like, I was treated, you know, uh, like less than because I'm a hottie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and she's yep. tired of people assuming that because she's pretty she's also brainless stuck up and uh most likely a slut because that <laughs> that's the stereotype her society perpetuates so she's really on the idea that she's a slut because she's hot man can you imagine is there anything worse than your girl complaining that she's too hot yes complaining that she's too hot but she's not that hot <laughs> yeah you're like, and then you like in the back of your mind like all Always. the bullshit but all the bullshit you tolerate and like you just like you want to just be like you, because you obviously want to be like, yo, you're not that hot. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're like, and then we can't. No, you can't do that. That's when you got to go to therapy if you're a guy. Uh, would, you need a men's group to vent yeah, that. Yeah, you need. Know, that, that's that's when you got to go fucking make a burger and get into therapy or something. Because that's when you got to. What do you do? Yeah, it's a crazy fucking racket they got going on. But that. <laughs> She's, I'm so much more than pretty. She goes on and on and on and on. And she goes, uh, I'm a woman's rights activist and stuff like that. I had, uh, we had a guy that uh, we went to high school with that um, he was very odd looking. Yeah. And he posted a thing uh, probably three years ago that was going viral in my little community being like, Everyone always says I look like Johnny Depp. I don't know. I don't see it. And he posted a photo back to back with him and Johnny Depp wearing the same hat. And he was no irony of being like, ugh, tired of being called that I look like Johnny Depp. And it was <laughs> just like, <laughs> some people fucking get wild. Uh, she goes, but because I'm pretty, 
all of that often doesn't matter to people because I'm pretty, probably just pretty. That's all she ever will be. So I don't have the right to complain about the burdens of being pretty. Hell yeah. But remember, hell yeah, I do. But remember, I'm not complaining about my face. I'm happy with it. I'm grateful for it. <laughs> she's, the thing is, she's not even like a fucking That's fat nuts. chick with a hot face. Yeah, I wasn't a fat like chick with a hot like, face. It's just like, it's just a fine, like whatever. It's, what I am complaining it's not about. gross or anything, but she's not like a model. That's Dude, nuts. I was literally expecting like a Maxim model. Me too. Or like whatever, like a literal model. Man, can you imagine if you were the guy that went to get the pack of smokes and then see what she's, you know, checking online what she's up to? She has a column about how her life's so hard because of how hot she was. And he was like, is that kind of left you for a hotter chick? That's sort of why I like Yeah, I didn't even try. It was just kind of. Wow. So I do I have the right to complain about the burdens of being pretty? Hell yeah, I do. What I'm complaining about are the opinions of narrow-minded, jealous, insecure, <laughs> and shallow people who judge me entirely on my physicality. I don't know how fucking, you know, they like fucking uh, uh, get mad at on the, everything on the internet people let her get away with this. I... How is this not, you know, ugly shaming or whatever? I don't know. Everyone's just fucking jealous. You're all just jealous. You all jealous. You're just a bunch of fucking haters. <laughs> yeah, she's really that. She's yeah, the girl. Yeah, yeah. I smoke. I do drugs. You're all haters. <laughs> You're jealous. <laughs> don't hate me just because I'm beautiful. Pretty insane. That article is the biggest you I, I mean, I'll say uh, one just word of advice. If you ever do an article about how you're so hot that it's causing you problems, uh, don't have pictures of you online of you not being hot. Yeah, at least put a thirst Something. trap on the fr Something. front photo. Her photo, and that's the hot. Too. That's the I'm hot. Her photo her, too. her bio photo or whatever on this website is like one of the you know how girls like know their perfect like angle and all the thing where it's like the, so it's like it's zoomed in, cut off, hair covering. <laughs> so you're like you look at that quickly. You go oh, and it's like touched up. And you go oh, that chick looks hot. But like it has every trick on it. Mm -hmm. 